time. Back to school time means updating lots of things. Getting your room ready or your cart ready. Getting a lot of things ready digitally, your Canvas courses. But it also should mean that you update and make sure that your email signature is current and valid for the course that you're teaching from the grade level and the school that you're located at. If you don't have a signature, these are directions on how to include one. And if you do have one, I'm going to show you how to get back to it and make sure that all of it's current and correct and how to update it if you need to. So now, anytime I want to create a message, when I cl click Compose, my email signature is automatically added. And anytime I reply, this is already there. So I don't have to remember to include this information that either parents or outside vendors or anybody else may need. And to do this, in your email, you go to the gear at the top bar and you click See All Settings. And under the General tab, you scroll all the way down until you see Signature. Now, if you don't have one, this will be blank. But if you already have one or more than one such as I have, you can scroll between which ones you have. You can also select, if you have more than one, which ones are used for new emails and which ones are used for reply emails. Um, to create a new one, you just click Create New. And you give it a name. You call this one Example. And then you're going to put your name. your school and department or grade level. Put any phone numbers you may have, an address you may have for your school or department. And then any URLs that you will want to include, your website URL, um, or it could be the name of your website, you can link it. Um, it could be your Canvas course name, and then you link it to the Canvas course but the Canvas course will have to be published under your settings, and you'll get information about that with your Canvas training. Once you have it set up the way you want to, meaning you have the font size, you have the font color, any pictures that you want to add to it, it doesn't need to be too big or too fancy. Just the basic information is fine, and make sure that it's current. And any changes throughout the year or before next year, make sure you keep these updated. Then once you have it the way you like it, you scroll down, you click Save Changes. Then when you go to, and I'm not going to say that, then when you go to Compose a New Email, you should see your signature already there. And then all you have to do is click inside your message and begin your typing, and then it will have your email signature underneath your message. Just contact us if you have any questions.